All right. Welcome to the brewery. Friday morning, kids just uh, went to school. Got our delivery last night uh, for our spike unit tank. Got the CF10 right here. We are going to, uh, or I'm going to upgrade my fermenter from this Firmzilla right here. This is actually the, uh, what is it, 57 liters. It's the 10 gallon, holds 14 gallons. Jump into this guy right here. Uh, problem I've been having with the Firmzilla is pretty much uh, just all those all the ceiling problems, the leaks, the gaskets, all that. Main problem with that thing, you got this little guy right here. Damn collection jar here. Uh, I know that they've made a new one, tri clamp on top, but uh, this seal, this O-ring here, uh, it just leaks constantly, constantly. Uh, you have to crank on it, loosen it, tighten it, still get leaks. Use uh, keg lube on here, try everything. It's just a pain in the butt. So this thing, pretty much why I'm buying that. So, you know, you do your hop additions. Uh, you put this on the bottom. You get your, uh, put your fittings on here for your uh, carb caps. Purge it, CO2. And then put this on, open up the three inch butterfly valve. Hopefully uh, your hops shoot up into your wart. It's kind of a pain in the butt. You're not really doing a hop drop. You're kind of doing like a hop shot, I guess, cause you got to shoot it up in there. You got to put like five PSI, make sure you got like no PSI. If you're doing pressure fermentation, this just isn't working very well. So because of this, we are going to get the CF10. Check out this box over here. Came shipped. Got it yesterday. It's pretty much the only little damage I see in that box, and it's not through. Double box. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got a little hole right there, guys. I'll have to check that out. Spike could have done a little better on that one. Maybe rotate it. We're going to have to see. This thing took a full week to get. So, if there's any damage, we're going to be good. We also got two more accessory boxes here. And I'll go over that here in a second. this thing so this is the spike unit tank cf10 uh i ordered pretty much all the accessories with it we got the all-in-one prv uh, that way we can do uh pressure fermentation i can purge the keg with co2 with it it's basically a spunding valve i have the spunding valve over here from uh keg land it's worked great it really has it comes apart you clean it it I like it. Everything about this conical fermenter here has worked out great except for the damn collection jar. And of course David fixed that. Got it on my elbow, my sight glass. I got my uh, 
inch and a half fork coming out. We reduced down to half an inch coming out. So whenever you're uh, getting rid of your true or your yeast, it doesn't just spit out. I have, uh, this is the original cover. It came with the five gallon. I got the little five gallon up there. Uh, that actually, this jacket fits all the way over the stand for the five gallon. So if you have this guy set up, that whole jacket fits all the way this to the floor. But since I decided since I've decided to uh, put a sight glass on and be able to uh, drop my yeast and everything like that, I had to make a bigger stand. So I made a nice stand, fits right in the conical. Got the jacket. Got this guy out. Jacket right there. Insulated it further. That's it there. And this has worked great. Got my cooling coil, thermal well. Uh, these fittings have never leaked. This top cap never leaked. Uh, but you know, we don't want to get light struck. Uh, it's really hard to keep this cool. I run it from a pump. I got my hoses coming out. You can keep this by the kegerator over there. I got a keg full of five gallons of water, uh, at 36 degrees, you know, whenever the thermal probe turns it on, cycles water through the tip coil. And that's worked pretty good. You just can't cold crash. And uh, that's what we're getting this guy for. So this will be used as a backup. Maybe sell it. I always leave this thing washed and purged with CO2. And I keep it under pressure. Here. And she's going to leak. There we go. Yep. Well, see? Where are we getting a new one? There we go. Five pounds. Oh, uh, with the CF10 here, like I said, I got the all-in-one PRV. The temp coil, got the temp coil for it. Uh, the insulated jacket. I purchased the racking arm. Uh, I got the, the TC thermal well going in the front for the probe. I got the nine-inch leg extensions. I bought the CIP ball for it. And uh, since I got the leg extensions, I might as well put this thing on casters too. So, and then in addition to that, I got the, uh, the spike wort chiller or the glycol chiller. And with that, of course, I went and got the insulated uh, tubing because I insulated my tubing with insulation from Home Depot. What a pain in the butt. It just didn't fit it straight. Uh, it just seems like a pain in the butt. It was $30 for the for the insulated tubing, so why not? Uh, with that said, uh, the glycol chiller won't be delivered until the beginning of October, they said. So they gave me a partial order, sent out everything that I wanted except for the chiller, which is fine. From there, let's check this thing out. We got our ring here. Take this ring off. Pretty nice fit. Here we go. So as you can see, I can't remember what the website said to do to, uh, to tighten it, but I'll read it again. It's like pretty much tight, and give it like three cranks or something. There's our ring. We got spot welds, stainless spot welds. Hold that together. It's basically just a band. You can see how it's banded. And then they have tack welds right here. You can see the burn out there. So, um, you know, banding is very strong. So as long as these little spot welds hold, I'm sure the band will be just fine. And it says it's made by Clampco, made in USA.
There's our three port lid. They says a three port lid, but it's got four ports. There's our O ring. We're going to have to press that into the top up here in this nice lip. That presses in. I think the website said flat part down into the lip. Pretty nice looking lid there, fellers. I like it. I'm wondering if they gave me caps. Plastic caps. They did. They gave us plastic caps. I like to keep everything capped up when not in use. So that's perfect. Love it. From there. We just had the fermenter. There we go. We've got graduations on the inside here. Take you a little closer. So we've got the graduation marks. Uh, yeah, be careful when you're cleaning those. You know, use anything uh, abrasive, you'll take those off. Uh, this holds. 13 gallons at the top, um, I will be, I make 10 gallon batches. I always put 11 and a half gallons into my fermenter. Uh, that way, you know, true loss, hop loss, yeast loss, all that. And I got, I got some extra water. I always put about nine and a half gallons, or sorry, four and a half gallons into each corny keg. So I leaves room for head space for carbonation. Well, these ports look good. They do weld them really good. They have a very good TIG welder. The cone. It's a nice looking pretty unit. Looking for any damage, any scratches. She's shiny, folks. You look inside how they dimple. They dimple the stainless steel and then they press the uh, inch and a half collar through there, the TC port, and then they TIG weld to the outside. So all inside here you can see how it's all, the stainless steel has been dimpled so it's rounded. Now. On my kettles here, so this is a spike kettle. Uh, I did my own dimpling. I added these two ports. Uh, you can you can catch videos on how to do this. You get the dimpling die, you cut the hole, you press the uh, dimpling die in there, you create the dimple, you press in the fitting, and then you use the silver solder on the outside and it solders it and i mean that's just solder i've never had a leak i've built this is my second brew system that i've built by hand where i've punched the holes and uh dimpled everything and pressed the fittings in press these fittings in that'll eventually be hot liquor tank or mash tun but right now we just got the uh the grain basket here no more Herm system. A lot easier to clean here. We'll get back to open this stuff. So, let's see what came with it. We got some parts so we got some more inch and a half sorry two inch on rings and just keep going on the rack we got our three little legs more o-rings just keep 
putting those up. Everything gets clean before we use them anyway. Let's do this a little better. 